Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, happy days here guys. Uh, the interior has finally been put back into Nigel. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the channel, Nigel is my AE82 Corolla Seeker. Uh, so I picked it up for a couple of hundred dollars, 200 bucks. Uh, been sitting in someone's backyard and it was, this car was just, um, yeah, pretty bad. It was pretty rotten. So here's a couple of photos of what the interior looked like. And so after that, you're going to see exactly what's been done to the interior. So some plastics had to be replaced. Um, I stripped everything out. It was pretty much back to a bare shell. Uh, all the plastics that have gone back in, every single piece has been cleaned inside and out. Everything's gone back in nice and clean. All the AC systems been refurbished. Uh, so it's looking so much better than what it was. So I hope you guys uh, like the results. Now, when I'm putting all this interior back in, I did make a lot of mistakes. And uh, look, just, just stupid mistakes, not putting wiring in the right places, then having to take everything back out again, uh, forgetting to um, insulate a couple of wires, so stuff had to come out again, or something's broken, or I ended up bending one of the heater cables, so I had to take other stuff back out. So it's just, it was just stupid mistakes um, from not having done this um, type of stuff before. So it was a very big learning curve, and yes, um, yeah, look, it was just, it was just painful sometimes, to be honest with you, but I got it all done. It looks really, really good. Uh, so anyway, guys, enough out of me. Take a look at the video. I hope you like the, uh, let's say, the transformation. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more content of some of the stuff I'm doing, please hit the uh, subscribe button. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers. Everything went really good with the AC yesterday. Uh, so basically all you do is put the um, the fan unit in first then put the heater box in and then basically the AC unit just it just slides straight in uh, nicely uh, everything's bolted up I've retensioned everything again yesterday afternoon um, I put some new foam around the the rev limiter for the fan unit um, so yeah, going along quite well. Now what I'm going to do is start bolting all the dash back up. So I've just got to vacuum up over the top of that bar. And um, I've got to clean the dash pad and start doing all that stuff. So that is what the plan is for today. And you know, more cleaning as you would expect. I'm going to get new door trims made. These are just crap to be honest. Um, so, and you know, just more seal cleaning, I don't know if you can see it just there, do all that kind of stuff, and um, yeah, that's it for today, so uh, you know the story guys, babble, 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 enough of that, let's get into it. Alright, this is the current state of the dash pad, look, it's in pretty good condition, it's got a small crack just there, I'm not too sure if the clock is any good, I do have a spare clock. Uh, in case that one is a dud uh, all the vents look pretty good they all um, have retained their proper movements and everything like that there's nothing broken on those um, so it's pretty dirty it needs a really good cleanup there's a broken bit just there that is I'm gonna need a, um, a ratchet to get it off get that off it's pretty tight there was a couple of other broken bits which I'll show you just off plastic trims that were just snapped off so I've taken uh, those out of there as well I'll give all this a clean and then on the back uh, I need to go and take all that uh, rear vent off flush it all out get rid of all the dirt and grime out of it and um, just give it a wipe down for there as well so that's the plan for now, so leave that with me and we'll uh, start cleaning this up. Alright, I've gone over the uh, dash pad. I've just hit it with some Ajax and a toothbrush. It's not, if I get you on the right angle, you can see I still haven't got all the dirt out of the uh, 
all off the surface. So I'm going to hit it again with some other stuff. Try and get it as clean as I possibly can. Be can sorry before it goes back in the car. Uh, now all this is I've wiped all these uh, this section down, gotten off, removed all the dirt and all the uh, or most of the dirt I should say. I should give this another once over and all the spider poo. Now there was another vent on the back here uh, that runs along this section here. That was absolutely putrid. That was disgusting. So this is the vent in question. Now you'll see it's got all that um, very slimline adhesive foam on it. I'm going to go through and replace all that, clean up all the old stuff off there first. And then I'm going to go through and uh, put a new layer of foam on there so that seals up nicely. So yeah, so uh, getting there, I'm going to give this another once over just to make sure it's all... There's still a little bit in there, but um, yeah, I'll fix that up now. And then I can put this back in the car. Here is the vent now. I've gone along with uh, a wire brush and then I hit it with uh, some prep sole and removed as much of it as I possibly could. Look, after a wire brush and prep sole, what's left on there, if it isn't coming off, it ain't coming off. I mean, you could go along and get pedantic with this and get it as clean as that, but I'm not worried about it. Once the foam is on there with an adhesive back and it's pressed up against the surface, the mating surface, it's not going anywhere anyway. So this will do just fine. So what I'm gonna do now is put down some foam I'll sh and um, oh, put down some foam and uh, get that done. And here is the vent all finished. So the foam's all been laid on. I put a different sized piece width on the end there. And it's come up really good. Now I did make one little minor stuff up, which is just here. Oh, where's my, there we are, just along there. I didn't follow the uh, the change in the surface angle, uh, but yeah, peeled it off, a couple of patches, and all good. So that's ready to go back onto the back of the dash pad, and that takes care of that bit. All right, guys, this is how it all looks at the moment. It's gone back to being a little bit dirty, but nothing like it was uh, when I originally picked up the car. So. Because I haven't got had bungs sitting in the bottom, um, the fuel tank's out, a lot of dirt and dust has gotten back into it, plus the tail lights have been out of it, so look, dust and dirt has just blown into it. Um, so I'm just going to go over and give it another quick clean, uh, put some rust converter over that big ugly patch there, and then um, after I vacuum it, wipe it all down. And then we're going to start putting all the interior trims uh, back into the car. So uh, let's do it. So this is how the uh, the back end looks uh, inside. I've put some uh, rust converter down on that big exposed patch over there. There's some small holes over there that need to be filled in. Uh, nothing major. Nothing I'm really worried about. The pan is a bit crusty as you can see. Uh, that'll need a really good clean up. I'm not going to worry about it at this stage. I'll leave it as is uh, So the panels are all in most of them those square ones that go in the corners there They're all uh, buckled and that and yeah, they did they just crap. So they won't go back in But there's no rattles everything's good a few minor alignment issues as you would expect from uh, plastic trims that are about 34 years old but uh, that's where we're at at the moment. It all cleaned up quite nicely. Just gave it a quick uh, vacuum and a wipe down in a couple of spots. Uh, that's how the uh, dash and everything is looking. All the components are in for the AC under the dash. I've got one more um, uh, vent section. That one there. I re-trimmed that one. Wasn't happy with it. So that will go back in and then I can start putting all the... Uh, all the plastic trim pieces back on including the cluster and all that so that's what I'm going to do today 
and um, hopefully get the uh, seats put back in as well. So it's a bit messy at the moment. I've got bits and pieces and tools and stuff all over the place. So uh, let's start getting this dash back in. And here is how we finished up. Looks pretty good. Uh, those plastics are pretty pretty worn, as you'd expect. Well, they all are. But um, look, it came up pretty good. I still need to get in here and clean up all these vents. I'm not really happy with that. And I still need to create something for the top there. Um, that's always been missing, so I need to do something about that. I could pull the cover off the, there but and clean inside near the gauges, but to be honest, I couldn't be bothered. Um, I just need to find what I did with the um, the cover there for the steering wheel. It's around somewhere. Uh, now I'll run you through. That was replaced. That was all broken. So I had a spare one sitting around. This is a spare one. Uh, all this is out of the... Actually, that's out of a twin cam one. So it's got a different ashtray set up. I've put that somewhere, but I'm not too sure where. Uh, let's have a look. Bear with me guys. So the center console and all that is from a twin cam. Hinges are good. Hinges are really good. That's all in really good condition actually. Uh, very happy with that. No tears in the boot. Uh, the lid is good. The hinges are good. So I just need to find that um, ashtray. It's a floating around somewhere in one of my bits and pieces. Now converted to a manual. So as I've mentioned earlier, I need to go through and clean up all these uh, inside doors, all the inside of the doors, they're putrid. Um, and I need to put down new plastic as well on there. And I've just got a few bits and pieces just sitting in the back. I'm not putting back seats into it. I'm leaving them out. The seat's cleaned up pretty good. The front, uh, the sorry, the driver's side has collapsed a little bit, but overall not too bad. I'll worry about that at a later stage. And I've got these little bits to go in there. I've got them to go on, and just a few touch-ups. Yeah, some cobwebs up there that need cleaning, but overall, um, very very happy with it. The door trims need a really good clean. I haven't done anything with those uh, since I picked up the car. So the doors need a good clean. So that's pretty much about it. Um, all the pa kick panels are in. All the door sill trims are in, so. And really happy with the seats. Alright guys, that's how we finished up. Um, yeah, doors and that will be hopefully next. Or maybe even some finishing off some of the engine stuff. So I'll keep you guys posted as I uh, move along. Alright guys, thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, see ya.